In this lecture, we will learn how to identify and measure linkage in a human pedigree. The chi-square test does not work well for small numbers and does not provide us with a measure of the map unit distance. The method that can do that is called the log of the odds analysis, abbreviated as LOD analysis. This is part one of the LOD lecture. Consider these two loci. The first one has two alleles, BD and little d. The second one has multiple alleles, M1, M2, M3, etc., that can be identified by a laboratory genotyping test. In this family pedigree, the male is heterozygous for a dominant condition conferred by allele D. We also note that in this male, the M locus, which is linked at 10 map units, has two alleles, M1 and M2. The M1 locus is linked in coupling to D. What is the probability that the son of this couple will inherit the big D M1 haplotype? By haplotype, we mean the chromosome segment carrying both big D and M1. Before we deal with D and M, for comparison, let's also consider the unlinked locus Q where two alleles, Q1 and Q2, are present. What is the probability of inheriting both big D and Q1? The P of big D is equal 0.5, the P of Q1 is equal 0.5. Because the two events are independent, we multiply the probability of inheriting each allele individually. 0.5 times 0.5 gives us the P of big D and Q1 as 0.25. Let's now go back to the linked D and M. Consider the types of gametes that the affected father can produce. If crossing over does not occur between D and M, only parental gametes with the genotype big D M1 and little d M2 will be produced. In the case of crossing over between D and M, the two recombinant gametes will be big D M2 and little d M1. We can calculate the frequency of each gamete class. Recombinant gametes are 10%, parental are 90%. The frequency of each parental is 0.45. The frequency of each recombinant is 0.05. So, what is the P of big D M1? 0.45. Together, the recombinant fraction is 0.1, a number we call theta. The P of big D M1 is thus 1 minus theta divided by 2. What about the recombinant gamete probability? That is equal to theta divided by 2. Let's consider one additional generation. Considering the whole pedigree, what is the probability that the granddaughter will inherit the big D M1 haplotype? For that to happen, two independent events must take place. First, grandpa contributes a sperm carrying big D M1, shown in red, then son must contribute a big D M1 sperm to granddaughter. We know the P of each event, 0.45. We multiply the two to get the cumulative P of 0.2025. In conclusion, we have learned how to solve an apparently difficult linkage problem in a pedigree.